All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are still in the 1.2 pre release, this time having a look at the Mark X Space Plane Parts mod, which is being made by forum user Benji10. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a selection of parts to allow you to build the Mark X Space Plane. And it is a pretty cool little craft as it is being designed to emulate the Boeing X 37B orbital test vehicle. And I love the look of that spacecraft, so having a kerbalized version of it here in the game just makes me smile. So let's go right into the space plane hangar and have a look at the currently four different parts that make up this mod. Now there are more to come in the future, but for now if we go to the search bar and type in Black Projects for Black Projects Division, we get the four current bits and bobs that we do have. And we'll start here with the Mark X Aerodynamic Drone Core. This is of course being designed again after the X-37B, which is an unmanned orbital test vehicle. So, of course, this too is unmanned, and I love the design of this thing. It is very beautifully modeled and textured, very much Kerbal stock alike, which just makes me happy, and all in all, a pretty good little piece. Now, as for its stats here, of course, it is an unmanned command pod, has a data transmitter, curb net access, as is necessary these days, a reaction wheel with 15 torque on all angles, an SAS, and of course, 150 electric charge. So overall, a pretty good little drone core at a cost of just three and a half thousand funds. A very, very good little thing. Now the next bit that we have is the Mark X cargo bay, which is quite nice. It fits very snugly there. And at this point, I should probably tell you a bit about the size. In fact, I probably should have mentioned it with the drone core. The Mark X space plane parts are all falling into the category of 1.875 meters in size. So you can actually fit a 1.25 meter satellite or alternatively other spaceship inside of the cargo bay here. And subsequently, if we uh, go up to the payload section, you can also fit one of these into a standard Mark III cargo bay if I just uh, uh, pop that right there. As you can see, it fits a uh, actually quite nicely inside there, so you could potentially launch a spacecraft with another spacecraft with a yet another spacecraft inside of it, and that technically would work. I kind of want to see someone do that now, now that I'm thinking of it. But yes, it is in the 1.875 size, so uh, you're probably going to be fitting 1.25 meter satellites inside of this thing. And overall, quite a nice little cargo bay. It does fit, of course, multiple sections. You just keep attaching to get as much cargo as you want, and you are good to go. And the next part that we have, if we actually drop one of these to make it easier to see, is the Mark X Integrated Reaction Control System, which has a lifting system surface RCS and also mono propellant at 100 amount and it, it fits right there quite nicely as you can see we have the nice RCS ports for it and uh, you know to help give you a little bit of extra maneuverability in space always useful indeed and then the final part that we have for right now is the Mark X liquid of fuel tank well liquid fuel and oxygen tank rather but there we go now it will hold 180 liquid fuel and 220 20 oxidizer and also is a lifting surface which so are the other parts I forgot to mention that earlier and yes, just a lovely fuel tank. Now, in the future, the uh, mod maker does have planned winglets to go along with this, an adapter so you can put this thing on top of a rocket because, well, frankly, it's not going to get into space itself, most likely. And then also an engine mount and possibly a dedicated engine specifically for this thing. But for the time being, you're going to have to make do with other parts in the game. And frankly, it's not that hard to actually get a pretty decent decent looking Mark X. If I go down to one that I built earlier, there we go. Excellent. I'd say this actually looks pretty darn close to the Boeing X-37B. Of course, not quite as good considering the winglets I have for an option, but overall a pretty cool little spacecraft. I do really love the look and feel of this thing. Beautifully designed models, beautifully designed textures, and all of it very, very much stock alike, which I always 
definitely prefer. Now this is a pretty small stubby thing, so you're probably not going to be doing this as a single stage to orbit space plane. You're going to whack this thing on whatever launch vehicle rocket system you have built for your heavy payloads, send it into space, and then the idea is of course that it comes back down on its flying on its little winglets to land wherever you need it to, and it has its own built-in heat shielding, so it should be good to go for any atmospheric re-entry. Now, I'm not really going to bother launching it because, again, like I said, just slap it on top of whatever heavy launch vehicle you've designed and it should be good to go. Oh my, I've left things open in here. But I did put one in space earlier so you can see it in orbit and how it can launch the payload and what sort of things you can fit inside and why is Hyperite obsessed with me having the lander tab open? There we go. But there we are, our little Mark X space plane, a beautiful sight to behold in Indeed, I really do. I really do love the look of this thing. It's uh, you know pretty simplistic, but overall, very very nice looking. And like I said, I've I've got a weird thing for the Boeing X thirty seven. It's just a it's just a cool little aircraft. Uh, but yes, let's actually look at the payload that I built for this inside, which is a. Uh, Another spaceship, like I said, spaceship and a spaceship and a spaceship, perfectly fits right inside here with a little 1.25 meter uh, capsule engine and uh, fuel tank. And well, all we really need to do is just release it. Decouple. Oh god, the explosion. And then of course, turn on our RCS and just sort of uh, back off here a bit from it. Oh god, okay, I probably should be doing... Not that. I should go to docking mode. There we go. Excellent. All right. There we are. Our other little spaceship is way. Now, preferably, of course, you'd probably be launching a satellite or something of that variety. But you can really just launch whatever in the world you're wanting because, hey, that's... It's your cargo bay, man. You do you. And yeah, and then once you're done, you just flip this baby around and then burn hard in a retrograde orbit to actually get back down to terra firma where you try to land this thing. I'm not going to be able to successfully land this thing because, well, it's me and flying. We all know how that goes. But overall, it will be a good craft for re-entry as, well, it is built for it. It's designed quite nicely and has its own built-in heat shields. And... Yeah, there we go. We're well into orbit. And what the heck, let's actually cut the engine there and speed up time just so we can see this thing re-entering the orbit. I probably should be flipping it around to the other way. Da, 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 da. You flip. There we are. I always forget that it won't like to do the flipping when in, uh, you know, time acceleration. So there we go. And then into the atmosphere we hopefully go. And yeah, that's really what you'd be doing with these things. Launch it up, release your satellite, and then come back into the atmosphere however you so desire, and hope that these little winglets can provide enough lift surface for you to do what you need to do to hopefully land at an actual base someplace, or in my case, probably in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod, guys. If you would like to try it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I would definitely say to give it a go, especially once the other planned parts do come to fruition. I'd love to see this thing with the custom winglets and hopefully a custom engine. I think that'd be quite nice. Or at the very least, an engine mount so it's not quite as meh back there. But yes, there we go. Re-entering atmosphere. We should probably angle ourselves up a little bit. There we go, so we don't burn up entirely and lovely good times but that is going to be it for today i of course hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one now i'm going to try and land this thing but quite frankly it's probably going to end horribly in tears so uh you don't need to see that later folks <laughs>